Look what you guys have gone and made me do now. All this hardware. And you know what? I'm loving it. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a CPU showdown in Premiere Pro. Now, in the next coming days, I'm also going to be doing a GPU showdown with OpenCL versus CUDA. So stay tuned for that. Though, let's quickly get onto the contestants and then the benchmarks. First up here, we have the 6600K. This is the four core consumer variant with only four threads available. I managed to get this thing up to 4.6 gigahertz. The next CPU we have up here is the 3930K, which is 6 core, 12 threaded beast. This thing, I got this to 4.4 swaggerhertz. Then, next up here, we have my dual E5 2670s, which combine to make Captain Planet. I'm just kidding, they actually make 16 cores, 32 threads at 3 gigahertz. And then last up here we have the E52658. This was an engineering sample I picked up off eBay for $300. I got this thing to 2.6 gigahertz on all of those 12 cores and 24 threads. Now looking at the results here, we can see that all these CPUs pretty much scored in the same league with no one having a massive victory over the other. It was actually ironic that my 32 threaded dual Xeon CPU scored the worst times when it came to the GTX 970 having CUDA enabled. Now without CUDA enabled, the render times literally went up to like six hours. So you will definitely wanna have OpenCL or CUDA enabled if you're editing in a 4K video workspace. Now this time around, I did do a normal video that I would edit for you guys in a 4K workspace. So my GTX 780 video, which has adjustment layers, it's got colors and all that jazz put in there. And so will these benchmarks will be indicative of someone just getting camera footage off their camera, dropping it into Premiere Pro, and then also editing and adjusting the layers and adding things in. Though I will point out though, I found when I was using my four core, especially when I had the MP4 footage in that workflow area there, I found that it really was struggling at certain intervals as opposed to all the other CPUs that I tested here, they were all fine in the workflow process. So also the final render times, the four core was just getting taxed completely to the max. In other words, I couldn't do anything else in that final render time, as opposed to my dual Xeons where I'd be listening to music, talking on Skype, and also editing a thumbnail out for the video that I'm currently rendering. Also, lastly, I will say Adobe, you guys need to update your website with some proper recommendations on the specs. I really couldn't find anything other than just a dual core and four gigabytes of memory for the requirements. You guys really should have an optimization guide going on, especially for a service where people are paying $50 a month. And also I will say that I'm sorry, I made a mistake in my previous showcase video where I actually hit the match source button and that allowed my results to be pretty much inaccurate. So I'm sorry about that. However, this time around the results are really apples to apples. And if I do these benchmarks again in the future, I'm definitely going to do it with a contemporary workflow sort of project for you guys to give you accurate results. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions or comments about this video, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll be getting onto some other benchmarks really soon for you guys. So stay tuned for that and peace out for now. Bye. I'm loving it.